So we created ourselves a tenant. Let's go ahead and actually create some users. And just before we proceed forward to create a user, I just want to point out, you can tell what tenant you are in if you look in the top right corner. So here I'm in my Starfleet tenant. And there's actually, I think you can switch between here. Yeah, that's an easier way to switch between your directories. Uh, but generally, that's not how I do it. I'll go to the top here and just type in Azure Active Directory. And uh, when I want to switch a tenant, I just click the switch tenant button and click on what I want. But we'll make our way back to the uh, Starfleet tenant that I have here. Here you can see my information and I've obviously activated Azure AD Premium P2. Uh, but before we go ahead and create a user, we're going to have to create a group and I'll show you why. If I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to speed through this for a second. But if I scroll on down, I have this option where I need to create a uh, assign it to a group. I guess I don't have to. But um, the problem is I don't have one. And so before I create my user, let's go ahead and create ourselves a new user group. And so we'll go ahead and create a new group here. And I, we have two options. We have security and Microsoft 365. It explains right here the difference. So 365 is really for giving access to mailbox, calendar, files, SharePoint. We're not doing that stuff here. We're just sticking with regular security groups, uh, which is for Azure stuff. We'll name this uh, developers. And then we'll name this developers. And notice here that uh, the membership type, I have a drop down. If you're on the free tier, this is going to be grayed out. But uh, this dynamic user is part of P2. And so uh, this allows us to add a dynamic query. And the idea here is that if I start having users and I just say, if a user uh, is from Canada, then they'll automatically be added to this group. And so that's the query that gets outputted. But we're not going to make a dynamic group today. Uh, we'll just make our way back here to the new group and we'll just manually assign stuff, all right? I'll go ahead there and create that user, or that, that group there. And now that we have that group, let's make our way over to users. So we'll go back here. I'm gonna make myself a new user. Um, and on the top here, we'll go here, uh, and we'll name this one Kevin. And we'll have that lowercase. And we will call them Kevin Uxbridge, all right? And you'll notice here, it will auto-generate a password. It's four letters and four numbers. I don't find this personally uh, very secure, but the idea here is that a uh, user is gonna reset that password right away, so it's not a big deal, and that's very easy to remember. And now I can go here and assign uh, groups. And if I wanna assign them a role, I can do that here. So we'll open that up. We have a bunch of different options. Maybe we want these two roles here. And then we have some additional information. I'll go ahead and create this user. And so now this user exists. What's interesting is that I can go ahead and delete users and then recover them. The groups have this as well, where if you go here, and I actually have a user I deleted previously. So it just takes some time to show up. But if you go ahead, you can hit the uh, delete user here. And then uh, they will remain in here for uh, 30 days, and then they'll automatically be, del be deleted. So if someone made a mistake, this is a great opportunity to bring them back. And so I can just go checkbox on uh, Rishon here, and we can just bring her on back, restore that user. All right, and again, you know, this is sometimes a bit delayed, so we might have to hit refresh. There she is, and so, uh, you know, that is the whole group and user stuff there.